environment surroundings or conditions within which an individual or organism exists is termed as environment the place we live in the people and things around us the plants the animals the land the buildings all are part of our environment different organisms live and thrive in different environments our environment is a combination of both natural and human components the natural environment includes biotic and abiotic components biotic environment consists of plants animals and human beings while abiotic environment consists of physical components of environment namely air water and land human environment refers to the activities and creations of human beings these include not just buildings roads etc but also social economic and political conditions the term geography studies the interrelationship between human beings and the environment natural environment natural environment has two components one land lithosphere water hydrosphere air atmosphere etc which form the physical environment and second plants and animals etc which form the biological environment these are termed as domains or realms of the earth lithosphere the hard outermost solid layer of the earth which is made up of rock material is called the crust most of it is covered with soil layer of varying depth it is an irregular surface which extends over the continents as well as ocean beds it includes landforms such as the mountains plateaus and plains it is a source of vegetal and mineral wealth hydrosphere the realm of water is referred to as the hydrosphere all water bodies such as oceans seas rivers and lakes etc together form the hydrosphere water supports all forms of life on the earth fresh water is used for domestic agricultural industrial purposes and helps to generate electricity ocean water apart from producing moderating influence on climate also provides food and minerals and helps to link the different continents by serving as international trade routes atmosphere the layer of air around the earth and even us is called the atmosphere it extends up to more than a thousand kilometers above the earth's surface it is held around the earth by its gravitational force the air which is a mixture of various gases is useful to us in various ways it has a thin layer called the ozone which protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun changes in the atmosphere result in changes in weather and climate biosphere life exists only in a narrow zone where land lithosphere water hydrosphere and air atmosphere come in contact with each other this domain is called the biosphere it makes the earth a unique planet in the solar system 
living beings exist only in the biosphere. All living organisms are interdependent as well as dependent on the biosphere for their existence. The entire biosphere is composed of several distinct zones and each zone has its own physical environment, plant and animal life. These are called ecosystems. Several ecosystems exist in the biosphere. All biotic organisms in an ecosystem are dependent on each other and also interact with the abiotic environment. The study of the relationships between living organisms and their surroundings is called ecology. Ecology is a term which means our home. It is derived from a Greek word oikos. It helps us to understand how such a wide variety of life forms depend upon non-living things and are influenced by their interaction with their environment. An ecosystem is the central feature of ecology. Human environment Human beings form the most important part of the environment. They not only interact within the environment, but also modify it according to their needs. Early man lived in the natural environment and adapted himself to the nature around him. But man today is different. His needs have grown and in order to meet them, Man has modified the environment around him. This has affected and changed several ecosystems. It has resulted in disturbing the ecological balance and degrading the environment. Environmental degradation has disastrous effects. Man must be sensitive to environmental issues and learn to protect the environment. He must maintain balance between natural and human environment and learn to live in harmony with nature. He must use the resources wisely and learn to protect and preserve them for tomorrow. Judicious utilization, not exploitation, is the one and only way to attain sustainable development. Humans being equipped with greater level of understanding and high level of intellectual capability alone can save the natural balance in the environment. It is the need of the time that we must pay attention to conservation of environment. To create awareness about environmental conservation, we celebrate 5th June every year as the World Environment Day.